You want to go there? Are you that stupid? Are you? No, I'm not. Because I'm standing there. If it was identity theft, you'd be hooking me the f***, wouldn't you? Well, right now you'd be. Hook me the f*** up. Right now you're being disorderly. This is not disorderly. Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff deputy. Today's video is brought to you by a YouTube channel by the name of Big G Audits. If you have not subscribed to his YouTube channel, please show support and go and do so. Really quickly, guys, before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that We The People University has released an awesome new app. It has everything that you need so that your rights are never violated. It doesn't matter who you are. You could be an everyday citizen trying to learn your rights, trying to protect your rights, or you can be an auditor conducting First Amendment audits. This app has everything that you need from poster sevens to states with stop and identify statutes, gun laws in every single state, case law on search and seizures to let you know what the cops can and can't do. Also, it comes with the pocket guide so that your rights are never violated and much, much more. Guys, make sure you download this app. This is an app that everyone should have and must have. Today, we're taking a look at the Bristol Police Department located in Virginia. We're going to take a look as a police officer tries to test the knowledge of an auditor. He says certain things just to see what the auditor's response is going to be. But when he finds out that this auditor knows his rights, he asks the question, are you an attorney? So now we have to be an attorney to know our rights. You should always know your rights because you come up against police officers who want to see if you know your rights. And if you don't, they will take advantage of you. I'm not going to say too much. Let's jump into this video and always remember, make sure you know your rights. Moment. Sure. How are you today? All right. I'm, I'm a, a little hot. I'm with the police department here in sure. Bristol. The reason I'm talking to you is we've gotten some complaints about you going around filming in police department parking lots, things like that. What's going on? Just doing some filming today. Just doing some filming today? Yes, sir. Okay. Are you looking into the, some of the Commonwealth attorney's cars and things like that? I'm just... Places where they have a reasonable expectation of privacy? Oh, uh, you know there's no reasonable expectation of privacy in public, sir. There, there is, sir. Inside of vehicles, there is. No, Absolutely. if you can see it from public, sir, you know better than that. No, that's not entirely accurate. Is that that's right? You all don't use, uh, you don't, you all use that to your benefit? No, sir. It's not? Absolutely not. Do you have your ID on you? Uh, no, sir. I don't have an ID on you me. You don't have an ID on you? No, sir. Okay, what's your name? Uh, I'm not giving my name, sir. I have okay. no reason to. Okay. Well, it's called the Plain View Doctor, and you should know about that. Anything you can see from public view is filmable and recordable. Okay. So, trespassing, I, I can, trespassing on property like over here where you're not allowed to be, restricted areas? Where, that, where's restricted that, areas? Right, right over here. Show, where me where it's, show me where it's restricted. Right over here where you were just Okay, at. let's we're go. Not, we're not walking over there. Show me where it's restricted. These cops were hoping that the cameraman did not know the law, and they were banking on him not actually going to check to see if there really was a restricted access sign in the area that they stated. Remember, cops will test you to see if you know the law and to see if you know what you're talking about. And if not, they will take advantage of you. Where does it say restricted? Where's the restricted signs? Where's the private property signs? When you're over here on Where's fire the no property? Where? When you're over here on fire department property. Fire department. That's, that's, not, public. Public. that's not public property. Yes, sir, it is. No, sir, it's not. It's not funded by the public. It is funded by well, the public. Then it's public property. But they have a reasonable expectation of privacy with the fire department, too. Uh, sir, you, you don't know what you know what plain view doctrine is, are, do are you? Are you the attorney? How do you know I'm not an attorney? Are you the attorney? How do you know that, I'm not an I'm attorney? Asking. How do you know are, are I'm you not an attorney? attorney? I don't know. That's why I'm Well, asking. all right. Well, don't doubt my intelligence. I'm trying to have a conversation. Well, I am trying to have one with you, too. Okay. All right. 
So you, what, what, you know what the plain view doctrine is, right? Right? Like you know right? You know what the plain view doctrine is, right? You know what the plain view doctrine is, right? Well, then why are you even you questioning me? I absolutely do. Anything that you can see from public is recordable. Okay. So you're, you're, saying that that, simple. you're saying that people don't have a reasonable expectation of privacy inside their vehicle? No, sir. They have to... The onus is on them to create that privacy, just like in your squad car. I can walk up to your squad car right now and film everything I can see in here because it's called plain view doctrine. You've left your computer on, which is not a good thing. Is it not? Because that's on you to okay. create that privacy on that computer, right? Okay. Right? No. That's not right. No. Is it on me to create that privacy? Am I the one that's supposed you, to shut it? Are, are you schooled with the police department policy or anything? Like I am, that? sir, and in normal constitutional law as well. Okay. Yes, sir. Are right, you? So, so basically, you're just out here to cause trouble for everybody. I didn't talk to anybody. So who's causing basically, the trouble? You're, you're the one that stopped me. Listen, you're you're the one that stopped I'm not, me. I'm not stopping you. Guys. Yes, I'm you did. You hollered for me and told me to stop. Did you not? Listen, I, I did you not? All right. So then you stopped me. So don't no, say you didn't. You might talk oh, to shut the up. You mind if I talk for just a second? I'll talk to you, but okay. he he ain't make no sense. So we just we got a call down here. He's been probably understand you're open carrying a firearm which is fine okay and you also yes, have a mask on that yes, can sir. cause some public concern with the covid today seriously i'm just saying somebody openly seriously a, just, just now who's being just, ridiculous just understand where i'm coming from okay so more, no, i don't know I'm where you're coming you from what the call was that we received well, i don't get what the call right. was so that's why if we i'm breaking listen, a law we come down don't here to make raise sure your voice to me sir come you're the servant to make understand sure that that you are safe don't and everyone else is safe okay i'm having to talk over have a nice day. I ain't wasting my breath with your dumb ass. I'm done. Have a good day, sir. Keep stepping, bitch. You're dismissed. Thank you. Tell everybody in there they need to close their curtains. I've got social security numbers all in the open. That's called plain view doctrine. Dumb right now, you're identity theft. You're if it was, this it, on them. They're the one to get in trouble. You dumb <laughs> It's not resp my responsibility to hide people's information, is it? So is it? Is it? Yeah. On them, because they're the ones that would lose it, you dumb All right. You want to go that? Are you that stupid? Are you? No, Is I'm not, because I'm standing there. If it was identity theft, you'd be hooking me the f wouldn't you? Well, right now you'd be. Hook disorderly. me the f up. Right now you're being disorderly. This Don't is not disorderly. Is. You can't be the complaint in a disorderly, you <laughs> God almighty, y'all. Yeah, you're wrong. Uh, you can be the complaint in a disturbance call. Yeah, you are wrong. Then hook me up then. Dumb. How fucking stupid. Bristol's finest right there, and I thought I wasn't gonna get nothing today. Sorry for the pacing back and forth and turning around all the time. He had me fired up, guys. I was tore up. What a bunch of The link to the full video is down below. Make sure you go to Big G Audits and subscribe. Check out the entire video. Also, make sure you get the app. This app is going to help anyone, no matter who you are. If you're just a citizen and you want to know your rights, if you want to learn your rights, if you want to protect your rights, or if you want to begin auditing, or if you're already an auditor, this app is what you need. It has everything from major case law to gun laws in all 50 states, stop and identify statutes in different states. It comes with a poster seven, quizzes, and many, many other needed tools to make sure that your rights are never violated. Either click the link above my head or make sure you visit wethepeopleuniversity.com and download the app available for Apple or Android. With that being said, We The People University, signing off.